Thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Okay, so today we're talking about Complete 14, which just dropped a few weeks ago. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Complete, it is probably one of the most popular music production bundles by the company Native Instruments. Now, I don't think I've ever said this before, but I do truly think that if you're just getting started with music production, with beat making, Complete is an awesome way to get in the door because it includes not only a bunch of virtual instruments, but also expansions, uh, percussive things, mixing tools. It's just a really robust bundle to get you through the door and get you started making music. Now, as with many other software bundles, we get updates for this every year. So what I wanna do with this video is first of all, give you my recommendation if you're a newcomer, someone who's just getting in the door with Complete, which tier you should get, because they do have a couple. And then if you already have Complete, 13 or below, talk about whether 14 is worth it or not, and then give you a demo of some of the new sounds. I'll also make sure to link Complete 14 down below if you wanna check it out. That is an affiliate link from Sweetwater. It definitely helps my channel out. So if you wanna use that and support the channel greatly appreciated but without further ado let's jump right in okay so complete does come in a bunch of different versions and tiers now in my opinion if you're a person who is just starting out with production with beat making you want to get in the door with a good robust set of tools to get you started i think complete 14 standard is the way to go now the selective version here which is your entry level tier is very tempting because it's only 200 bucks to get you in the door but it, I, in my opinion, I think you get the most bang for your buck with standard. You get over 300 more gigabytes of sounds and you know a bunch more instruments and virtual effects to get you in the door. Granted, it is 600 bucks, but I think for what you get, this is a good place to be. Now, the ultimate version, it's double in price, so $1,200, which is substantial, and you do get way more sounds, but I think if you're getting started, 14 standard is the way to go. And if later on down the road, you decide, hey, I need more, I need more, then you can upgrade to the ultimate. Now, as far as the collector's editions go, I don't recommend this version to anyone who is not a composer. Now, the reason for this is because one, you're jumping up to $1,800, which again is quite substantial. You get way more sounds, but a lot of them honestly are going to be a lot of like cinematic instruments, classical instruments, which are gonna be really good for scoring film, but if you're not doing any of that, if you're just a producer making pop hip hop, I think you wanna be in these two tiers. And if you're brand new, like I said, I think standard is the way to go. Now, if you are someone who already owns complete, either 13 or below, the question then becomes, is 14 a worthy upgrade? Well, in other years, I think this would have been, you know, the question that we ask ourselves every year and that would require some analysis. What's included, what's not included, what do I have, what do I need, what does it cost, can I afford it? This year though, I think the answer to that question becomes a lot more simple because of a recent event that happened with Native Instruments. I don't know when this became official, but apparently recently, Native Instruments joined forces with a bunch of other companies to create an umbrella company called Soundwide. Now, some of those companies include Isotope, which make Ozone. Now, if you don't know what Ozone is, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I use that plugin all the time. Uh, so Isotope, Native Instruments, Plugin Alliance, which makes also amazing plugins, Brainworks, same thing. And the only one that I'm not familiar with is Soundstacks, but this here is huge because for the first time ever in Complete, we are getting tools from these other companies included in that same update price. So for example, if I head over to Complete 14 Standard, under the what's new category, we get a new contact, contact seven. We'll talk about that too in a minute. We get some new play series instruments like Playbox. Um, we also get some new session instruments, a new uh, VST, the Oberhausen from Brainworks. We also get Ozone 10 standard. If you're familiar with Ozone, it is basically a one-stop shop mastering suite. Now the cool thing about Ozone is that it is made up of different modules so you can manually go in there and do your, the mastering yourself, but they also have an AI tool in there where you can kind of, you know, select the loudest part of your song and say, hey, I want it, this is going on streaming platforms. And if you have the uh, advanced version, you could also upload your own song and have it uh, be used as a reference so it can match the loudness to that. But, you know, when it comes to beat making, there's not a single beat that I do that does not include this. If I'm mastering songs, I'll still have my own individual plugin chain to get really granular. But when it comes to just beats that I wanna put out, you know, just to showcase whether you're leasing or SoundCloud or whatever, maybe even just releasing on, on stream platforms, 
this is what I use. I slap it on the master bus or the mastering bus, whatever it is, set my target with the AI and let it do its thing. Now, the kicker here is that Ozone 10 standard regularly retails for $250. Right now they have it on sale for 200 because we're in the holiday season and everything always goes on sale. But right now, you know, 200 bucks, if you go over to Complete 14, the update for that is $200. So that's basically the price of Ozone 10, Plus, you're getting everything else from Brainworks, from Plugin Alliance, Contact 7, a bunch of new Play Series instruments. So, again, any other year, I would have said, I don't know, you'd have to do some analysis. This year, I think if you can swing the 200 bucks and you don't have Ozone, I think this is worth it. Now, if you already have Ozone, it's just a matter of, again, maybe doing a little bit more questioning. Do you need the new contact? Do you need, you know, the new plug-in alliance effects? You're gonna have to do your own analysis based on your own situation, but if you don't have Ozone, I definitely think this is worth it. But okay, now that you're a little bit more familiar with Complete 14 and what's new, let's actually go over some of these new additions. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is Contact 7. Contact is arguably the most important part of the Complete bundle because it is a player, and all the other instrument libraries that you get get played within Contact. So the first thing you'll notice is that the user interface has changed quite a bit. Before, we used to have the libraries on the left, and then the actual library that you're using on the right with some controls at the bottom. With this new version, we get everything in a grid layout. And of course, you could always go to the top and search for whatever you want. So it'll present it for you. Or you could use these buttons here under the sound typing character categories to find exactly what you're looking for. I think the most useful function of this new update though is the quick audition feature here. I'm not quite sure this was available in the previous versions. I don't think so because you kind of had to drag them in to see what it was. But now I can simply go over, click on a library, and then start auditioning some of the sounds. Now, once you come across something that you wanna use, double click on that, and you'll get the new kind of active window here. Now, if for whatever reason you don't like this new layout and you still wanna see the old way, you can still do that. Simply go up here and click on this little button, and then once you do that, you go right back to the layout that we all know from, you know, Contact 6 and below. Finally, if you ever wanna go back to that original window that I showed you with all the libraries and like the grid form, simply go up here, click this button, and you're right back to where you started. Now really, from what I could tell, that is all the updates to Contact 7. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, I guess we do have better searchability. Okay, moving on, let's talk about some of the new additions to the play series and some of the session instruments that we get that are brand new in Complete 14. Okay, so the first new addition, and quite honestly, my favorite, is this little thing called Playbox. And based on the description, it basically allows you to kickstart ideas and refresh your workflow with randomization, core generation, and sample layering. So if you take a look here, this is basically three things being combined into one, as the description said. You get a sample, which you can go in here and change to whatever you want based on synths, whatever, voices, instruments. You could also attach some sort of like effect to it, so whether you want it to be played out in strums, arpeggios, and then finally, you also get to attach different kinds of chords. Now the chords you could always change to, you know, from simple to extended to complex, whatever it is that you wanna do. But the end goal here, becomes this sort of like combination of things that make it really, really easy to get inspired and start creating. So as you can see, I'm triggering different keys here, but they're playing this piano sample with a strum kind of effect and then these chords here. Now you can click on any one of these and see exactly what you're playing. So I'm triggering this chord right here, which looks to be like a complex chord. Yep, complex, you can see it at the bottom. You can also go to the samples here and see exactly what's happening, because it's a, it's a stack of different things. You can go over to the effect, of course, and then mess around with this. Now, the cool thing is that you can mess around with this however you like. I can change the chord simply by going over to the next. Right, so only the chords changed. I can go back to the original, change the sample. Or change the effect. Or, you know, if you don't wanna do any of this yourself, you could simply go over here and click this little kind of dice and it'll randomize things. Woohoo! <laughs> 
Now, there's a bunch of other controls here as well. You know, you could add distortion or, you know, reverb, half time it, whatever it is that you want to do. But this to me has been the, the one instrument that has gotten me really excited just to kind of mess around and noodle around and see what I can come up with because it's really, really fun to play with. Next up, we have two new session instruments, the Prime Bass and the Mint Electric. Now, I grew up playing instruments, so I'll forever have a bias for just picking up, you know, a guitar or a bass and doing it that way. But I am always amazed at how good technology is getting and what the things that we can do now with software. Now, this isn't the first time we've had a session bass instrument. They just keep adding new styles. So for this one specifically, they're trying to model a 70s style single coil electric guitar and it has over 350 patterns. So check it out. And they have different styles here. So if you click this, you can kind of go through a bunch of different ones. So let's do maybe like a slap funk. And you can change the style. <laughs> now, the cool thing about these session instruments is that obviously you can program the MIDI and then key in the different switches that you see here at the bottom because these switches change the style. You can key them in on the piano roll, or if you have a large enough keyboard, you can play the part and then key switch on the fly which makes it really great for performing. Now the next session instrument and one of my favorites is the Mint Electric, which is trying to model a 1960 solid body uh, electric guitar. And this one has over 222 patterns, so let's check them out. So yeah, session instruments are nothing new, but we do get these two brand new ones in Complete 14. Next up, thanks to Brainworks also being a part of this new big umbrella company, we have a new plugin, a new VST here called the Oberhausen. Now this is a synth. And if you go under this drop down menu here, you'll be able to see all the different presets that we have available. <laughs> it's very synthy, but it's a guitar. So it's a VST, right? It's a new addition to our toolbox. They have a couple of different things here that you can kind of go through. Uh, seems like they have a lot more synth related stuff. Of course, it is a synthesizer. Uh, so a lot of pads, a lot of like miscellaneous sounds, plenty to pick from here. Okay, next up, one of the biggest additions to complete, in my opinion, as I mentioned before, is Ozone 10 Standard. Now this is a plugin itself. And as I mentioned, you can add different modules to do exactly what you need to do. So, you know, you have dynamic EQs, regular EQs, exciters, imagers, compressors, you name it but the cool thing is that you could also go into this artificial intelligence window play your track and then have it adjusted for you automatically and i think this is really useful for beat makers who just want to get something that competes volume wise with everything else now this is not a review of ozone 10 so i can't tell you all the new things that comes with it but what i do know that is new is that in the limiter here which is called the maximizer you do get a soft clip a new soft clip feature and a new transient emphasis feature which is really cool, especially for hip hop kind of beats. The other thing, and I'm not quite sure if this was already here in nine standard, cause I've been using the advanced version for quite a few years now, but it looks like you do have the reference feature that I was talking about earlier. You load in a track, any sort of reference track that you wanna use, and then kind of have it model your master based on whatever that track has in it. So this is another really useful feature. So again, if anything at all, I do think that Complete 14 this year is worth it simply because of these new plugins from all these other 
companies that we're getting, specifically Ozone. The next addition here to Complete 14 is some plugins from Plugin Alliance, which includes the Unfiltered Audio's Lo-Fi AF and the Brainworks Crispy Tuner. So let's go over some of these real quick. Now this is a Lo-Fi AF plugin. I've never used this before, but it seems to be some sort of like RC20 alternative. So you do hear a little bit of crackle there in the background. Oh, cool. You got a bit crusher. This could be cool for like sound design for sure. So that's Lo-Fi AF, but you also get a couple of different tools from Brainworks. Now again, I'm not an expert with these plugins. This is the first time I'm bringing them up, but it looks like this is some sort of like scale tuning plugin where if you play something, you'll select the key that you want it in and it'll keep it within that scale. I think that's what it is because this is in C sharp minor, but it's it, right now it's conforming it down to C chromatic. C major, so you hear some differences there. Um, you can mess around with the detuning, the hertz. That's cool. So extreme tuning. I wonder if you could use this for vocals, because that'd be kind of cool. It's kind of like an auto-tune in a way. You also have an advanced screen here, and then, of course, a graphical window as well. So I feel like you could do vocals with this. I'm not quite sure, but that's pretty cool. The other one here is called Crispy Scale. You know what this reminds me of? This is definitely a pitch correction plugin because this reminds me of the auto-tune auto key where it kind of detects the key based on what you're playing and then it automatically sends it over if you if you want to to the Crispy Tuner, which would be auto-tune. So yeah, 100%, this is a pitch correction plugin and a key detection plugin. Now there's a couple others too here as well. They have a focus. Focusrite SC. So you, it looks like you have a compressor here at the top, de-esser as well. And I think they're modeling the ISA. They are. You also have some filters. You have an EQ section. So this is really cool. This is a mixing plugin. That's pretty awesome. And then let's see what else here. You also have, it looks like another console plugin. Yup, another mixing plugin. That's pretty awesome. And I believe I saw one more. So this is a limiter. So you get a Brainworks limiter. So again, this is really awesome. Brainworks and Plugin Alliance have always made great plugins. So this is awesome that we now get to have these in our toolbox. Now, aside from the expansions here, some of the things that we also get added in Complete 14 are some new Play Series uh, instruments. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Play Series are basically like these little mini modules, so to speak, within Contact that are just, you know, really awesome to play around with and get some inspiration. So the first thing that I will say is that we now get included the 40s very own drums and 40s very own keys. These were sold separately when they launched, so if you already have them, but they are included now in these new versions of Complete, which is really great. I've done a whole video on this, so I'll make sure to link it down below. But then we also get a few new ones here called Def Lines, Ignition Keys, Empire Breaks, Soul Sessions, Glaze, and Melted Vibes. So let's check those out. So let's start from the top here. Let's go to Def Lines. Cool. Let's see what else we got here. Now with these instruments, you kind of get like a combination of two different sounds. So here we have an upright. And you can turn these on and off. And then this, whatever this is, dark machine together. You get this preset. Mallets. So the next one up was Ignition Keys. Let's see what that's about. Nice synthy kind of preset, super dope, 80s wave. It's like an E piano, like a Rhodesy kind of thing. Super cool. Oh, that's fire. That's super dope. Ancient Traditions, that's a good one. Cool. Now 
nice. Next up we have Empire Breaks, and this is probably one of my favorite ones. So this one is meant for us, the hip hop producers, and it basically has some hip hop kits in here that sound really awesome. So you kind of get patterns that you trigger from different uh, keys here, but you could also trigger the different samples. So if you wanted to make your own pattern, you could do that, or you can just, you know, program in one of the, the patterns that already come with the plugin. And of course, there's plenty of control here. You have the kit, actually the actual drum pad here. And then the pattern. And then the cool thing too is like, you know, these are the patterns here. If you like this pattern, all you have to do is basically just drag it in if you want to get the MIDI. And then, you know, from here, you can separate them into different channels and do all that you have to do. The next one here is one called Soul Sessions. Cool. Pads. It's like a detuned kind of. Cool. And I believe there's one more. Uh, oh no, two more. Glaze and Melted Vibes. So let's try Glazed. <laughs> Vocals. Cool. with the and then the last one here is melted vibes sounds definitely like what it's advertising cool that's dope So yeah, these play series instruments are pretty cool just to kind of get you up there and get some inspiration. Oftentimes they are theme inspired, like, you know, Melted Vibes seems to be a lot of detuned stuff, Soul Sessions, Empire Breaks for like boom bap and hip hop. So they're, like I said, a good way to get you started and get you going. But there you have it. Hopefully this demo and overview of Complete 14 has helped. If you do want to pick it up, as I mentioned before, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. That is an affiliate link to Sweetwater and it does help me out a lot if you use it. So thank you very much. But now the question is off to you. What do you think of Complete 14? Are you gonna get it? Let me know in a comment down below. But that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.